Ciao amici, this is Morena with Morena's Corner and today I'm going to show you how to make these really fun bow tie necklaces using a bodabra. They're crazy easy to make. Here's how. These bow tie necklaces would make really cute holiday gifts or they'd be fun to wear to parties or all season long. These are so easy to make using a bodabra bow making tool. This is a sponsored post, but I will tell you that I owned one of these before I was sent one, and I love to work with the Bodabra. It, it just makes crafting so much easier. So for this project, in addition to the Bodabra, we're going to need Bodabra bow wire, a thinner ribbon for the center of your bow tie, and then a wider one for the bow tie. I'm starting with about a 22 inch length of ribbon but you can make it shorter or longer depending on how big you want your bow tie to be. So first I cut a length of Bow Dabra bow wire and insert it in the center right here. Usually you would double it up, but I'm just using a single wire because I don't want my bow tie to be bulky. I'm going to start by folding my wider ribbon in half and inserting it into the Bow Dabra like so. Now I'm going to take one of the ends, fold it in half, and tuck it to make the first loop of my bow tie. The reason I'm doing it this way is that I don't want any tails to show, so this sort of hides that end of the ribbon. Next, I'm going to repeat that with another loop on this side, tuck it in, do it again on this side, making my bow a little bit smaller and my last loop tucking it in and you can see that I'm not going to have any tails there it's going to be hidden now I'm going to take the bow dabra wand and scrunch everything down like so pick up my wire slightly lift my bow and tie a knot. Now your bow tie might need a little bit of adjusting, just depending on how the bow moved around. This one looks pretty good. Maybe make this loop a little bit longer there. I'm going to cut off the excess wire here. And take my coordinating ribbon loop it around the center like so and if you find that you have some extra bit of ribbon sticking out like that you can just trim it and then seal the ends or let's see I'll just tuck it in like this for now and hide it okay then I'm going to pin the back and I'll use my needle and thread to sew everything together so the end result is going to look like this. You can see I've stitched it here. Then I took a bit of chain and just sewed it on to the back of my bow tie. And there it is ready to wear. You can have fun embellishing these with different scrapbooking or jewelry making elements. With this one I used little Scrabble style letters to spell the word joy. And with this one I added a little ornament just to make it sort of fun and whimsical. You could do lots of different things with these and make your bow tie as unique as you are. So have fun crafting and send me a picture of your bow tie. I'd love to see what you made. Ciao, a presto.